Hey, good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing awesome this fine day. I'm glad I took a little hoodie with me because it's a little chilly out here on the beach. Just taking a little break from our walk. There's Owen. He's got to make his little cameo. Listen, so I'm going to share with you something I got inspired by. i um, been up for about three hours now. 4.30 is my wake up call. It's 7.30 now. And I'm out here on my walk and I'm just so inspired. Uh, so inspired. I heard a little message from a pastor. Uh, just was watching it earlier. And man, it was so poignant. It just made such sense to me. It, it totally resonated with me. I hope this resonates with you. And it's this, what I posted in the title. Uh, you, you get to choose the story of your life. You get to choose the story of yourself. You get to choose the story. Check that out for a minute. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. And now I can just share with you, and I'm going to share a story here, so I hope you hang on for a few minutes. Is, uh, isn't that the truth? It's true. You might not be able to change the circumstances or you know the situation that you're in, but you truly get to change and you get to choose Maybe not change the situation, but you truly get to choose uh, the story, right? Isn't that awesome? So I want to just share with you real quick about a story as I'm walking on the beach and thinking of where I was at just really a few years ago. And um, I look back in lots of lots of situations and circumstances, lots of valleys, more of the valleys. Like, I, I, you know, it's always easy to look back at all the wins and the successes, but to think back of the challenges in life. And one particular, I, I had owned a gym at one point in my life, and it was about six years, and I put everything, blood, sweat, and tears, and if, if you were part of it, or if you went to it, or if you knew about it, you know I put everything I had into it. And even despite my best effort, the circumstances didn't fare out. I don't have it anymore. I sold it. I was fortunate enough to sell it. But I can tell you there was a moment in time where um, the story was not good. It wasn't, I should say the circumstance wasn't good. And the story at that time I thought was, was awful. Uh, I'll never forget the moment where uh, we came up to the end of the month and needed to pay our employees and needed to pay our overhead and expenses. And, and I didn't, ha we didn't have enough money and we were coming up short. And I'll never forget the day that I told my wife we needed to we needed to get rid of some things so we could cover the expenses. And it was a day, and I don't remember the exact day, but we had to drive both our cars to, a, uh, it was like a CarMax, a car dealership, and we had to sell one of our cars. I needed that money to be able to cover our expenses. Now, while I share this with you, not to get all emotional, it was an emotional day to see, see when you're driving home after you drive to the dealership with two cars and you drive home with one because you needed the money to pay for expenses and cover your overhead because your business wasn't thriving enough to cover itself. And uh, that was a, a, a pretty, um, pretty interesting situation. I don't know if you've ever been something like that, but to see your wife in tears driving home together because we had to let go of a car. Now I know it sounds maybe on the outside a bit superficial, but there was a there was a point in that realizing I think my wife was sad for not only the car to not have a car but also for us and our business so I say that and I look back on it now not to get sad because I wanted to share this with you because you might be in one of those situations and maybe it's finances maybe it's with your health I can tell you I deal with people on a regular basis who you know feel at a loss with their health they feel they're in the worst place possible they have weight on their body, they're you know not in a good spot, their health is going downhill, they're getting older, and they're in the situation that is almost, you know, they're they don't know what to do, right? And I would say as while while that situation was tough, at the end of the day, I get I got to choose the story of that situation. I got to choose the story. I didn't get to choose the situation. It's like, well, partly maybe it was my doing, of course, I'm gonna own up to it why maybe the business wasn't as successful as it needed to be so that we didn't have to sell a car. But point is, um, at the end of the day, I can choose that story now as it really helped define my life and it helped define who I was because I had the choice to make and wallow in that or move forward. And partly, and again, and if you've ever listened to any of my videos, my faith is a huge part of my life. It's actually the most important part of my life. 
And when I can think back of, you know, stories in the Bible, and, and this is not to whether you have faith or not, I hope this still resonates with you, is, you know, thinking about things were hard. That was hard. But then I have to just look to the cross and realize that that was a billion times harder. So for me, my faith has been huge and helpful for me to get through some of those situations. But regardless, if you're on a, a path that might be in a valley right now, you may be in a hard, you know, difficult point in your life. And it could be related to your finances. It could be related to relationships. It could be related to your health. You know, I, I talk and meet with people and, and consult with people and coach people on a daily basis, you know, who are in bad situations. They're 40, 50 pounds overweight. They don't know how to exercise. They don't have time in the day. They're stressed out of their minds. They're anxious. They're going on medications. They have aches and pains and problems. And there's situations, and you can look at it at two ways. You can look at it as two ways. This is the way I see it. And I really hope, hang on here with me, Trey and Shauna and Jim, hang in here with me, is that you can choose to say, oh, that's hard, you know, and be like, well, maybe this is, you know, not, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I should just give up. This is hard. You know, it's hard to get in shape. It's hard to work past a hard relationship. It's difficult. Or you can turn at in a different respect and say, yes, this is hard. And you know what? I know the things that are hard when I work through those hard things, usually in the past when I've worked through those hard things, there's a benefit on the other side. There's a value on the other side. There's something better on the other side waiting. And that's what I want to share with you right now in this moment this morning is now you may be choosing hard and you may be choosing right now to say, gosh, it's hard. It's hard to do better in my my workplace it's hard in this relationship in this marriage it's hard being a parent can you hear me on that it is hard being a parent I'll tell you what it is tough but the two things just think about parenting the two things you go like oh man it's hard being a parent whether at any age having teenagers I got two of them it's hard being a parent but then I can look at man that that difficulty is a good thing because it gives me the opportunity to grow as a human as a parent to learn from maybe the challenges of being a parent, to grow from them. And I can look at it as opportunities to choose my story. So while I could probably be here five, four or five years later after having to drive two of our cars to a dealership to come home with one and to wallow in it and to be so sad and to just close off to the world and to just feel like I'm a failure and to just give up. I'm so glad I did not give up because I'll tell you, there was a moment where I felt <laughs> there's a moment that I felt not good enough, right? Sorry, this is, this is, uh, this is me. This is live. That's why I do these because I never know what to expect. There was a moment where it feels easy to give up to just say, you know what? Forget it. I'm bailing. I'm done. I got nothing left in the tank. My story is that I'm a failure. My story is that I'm not good enough. My story is let me just let me just stop doing everything. And I just want to share this with you because for a time I wanted that to be the story. But I can tell you, thanks to my family, thanks to my faith. Thanks to people in my life, a community, I was able to change that story for good. And now I can share that with you. And to be honest with you, this tear that I have coming out of my eye is just kind of thinking back on that. But thinking, gosh, I'm so happy and pleased that I chose a different story. Now, I want to use that story uh, for you right now in this moment. If you're in the verge of maybe giving up on yourself, giving up on your health, giving up on your, your life, your circumstances, don't give up, please. Know that there's a bigger story. God's got a bigger plan and he's got a path for you. If he didn't, you wouldn't have woke up this morning, right? And even if you don't have any days left in this earth, why not use every single day that you do have left, every single story that you do have left to make something of it, right? <laughs> so you choose, you get, think of this, you get, I can't forget the get, you get to choose the story of your life. Circumstances and situations are going to be tough, but at the end of the day, it's what you choose. And the beauty 
of this. Whether you choose to have faith in it or not, whether you choose to be positive about it or not, it's still at the end of the day your choice. Hey, I meet with people all the time who are like, you know what, I'm 40, 50 pounds overweight and they have a choice. They can choose to lose the weight. They can choose to get on a healthier path. They can choose to start exercising. They can choose to start eating a healthier meal. It's your choice at the end of the day. Your situation and circumstances, I can tell you for every one that you have and you say that here's an excuse why I can't get in better shape, why I can't get healthier, why, you still have a choice. <laughs> it's still your choice. So anyway, on here while I'm rambling, Trey, thank you. Shauna, thank you for watch, listening. Jim, I appreciate you. Jennifer, thank you for watching. If you're still on, I really appreciate you. Uh, Vivian, thank you so much. Janice, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Jeff, awesome, awesome. All things work out together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Peter, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, I would, I would first say I'd be deathly afraid if I didn't start going online in my business about two years ago and started going online here. Um, is this really, <laughs> sometimes I feel coming online live, it takes me out of a comfort zone, but also there's a boldness that comes with it. But I'll tell you, it's a bit therapeutic for me as well to be able to share my story, part of my faith story, and I'm not going to get into that now. Part of my faith story is not just keeping it to myself. Part of my story as a coach is not keeping it to myself. You know, my deal, my goal in life is to, in not just life in this next year, is to help over a thousand people on their health and fitness journey. The only way I could do that is for them to come into my world. The only way to do that is to share more about who I am. You, there's a, a billion trainers and coaches out there. There's a billion methods to get in better shape and lose weight. You can go online now, Google search how to lose weight and you'll come up with 450 million different opinions. I totally get that. There's a probably 459.999 billion different terrible options for you. There might be one and if it's with me and if this resonated with you, you might need to hook up and we need to connect on a different level regarding your faith. But I'll tell you what, I'll, the inspiration, Jennifer, the inspiration of Stephen Furtick. And I came on and he, in a faith standpoint, come in and says, you know, choosing your story, it's your choice. It's your choice to get up in the morning and it's your choice to decide whether you're going to maybe put things that you need to bury and putting the past behind you, not to forget about them, because I just shared with you a story that I'm never going to forget, but a story that is definitely defining my path now, the, the steps, check this out. These are real steps, the path, see those footsteps, those footprints? Those are somebody's individual footprints. That's somebody's path that they chose to take back over here behind me too, see that? So you have your own individual footprint. The beautiful thing about faith is God made you unique. There's only one of you. And the beautiful thing is we have the choice to make how we choose our story, how we choose our path. If you choose to get up and to be depressed and tired, and don't get me wrong, some of those things you can't control yourself. And that's why there's therapists and trainers and coaches and people in community and churches and pastors and people to help and surround you. But at the end of the day, you still have to make the choice. It still has to be a choice whether or not you choose to lean in on those or you choose to give up and you choose to give in. And that's what's so strong about my faith. Now, I don't say I have the strongest faith, but I feel like I'm growing in it. And the way I do is I lean in and say, when things get really hard, I just have to look to the cross and realize it's not nearly hard as what, what happened on the cross. So anyway, I hope this helped. I hope this resonated with you. I do appreciate you, first off. Thank you for coming on. Even if there's one, two, or three, even if there's 40 or 50 of you, don't get me wrong, I see how many people come and watch my stories. If you don't engage in this, that's cool. If you watch later on when you get the recording, if this has resonated with you, you don't have to like it, you don't have to click the thumbs up. If you wanna send me a message, you wanna connect with me, you wanna meet for a cup of coffee, you wanna get on a phone call, I'd be happy to. It doesn't have to be about fitness, but if it can, if you're struggling in your fitness, then we can talk about that as well. Anyway, I gotta run. This dog is ready to eat some breakfast. It's time for us to take a path, and you get to choose yours. So how are you going to do that today? Take care and God bless.